Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another weekly app review and a view into Huck's world. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I know I did. The weather has been great. So we're going to give you some very nice watch faces. We're going to give you the best of the best today. Okay, so let's start off with the very first one. This I'm going to have to say is number one on my list and it's called Krona. Now Krona is a sunlight or a sundial watch face. If you look at it, at the top it's kind of yellowish. It goes around, lets you know whether it's daytime. At the bottom, as you see this line right here, lets you know that we're in tonight. It gives you the time, of course. If you want the battery level up there, you can customize that. But look directly in the center. It gives you information about whether it's rainy, sunny, or cloudy. It says partly rainy nearby. Gives you the weather. Gives you the high of the day, which is something that I rarely see on the watch face. So this is definitely a beast of a watch face. Very nice, very unique. If you take a look at the numbers, the numbers are positioned a little bit differently. So leave me a link in the description and let me know what you think about this particular watch face. So let's take a look and see what it looks like in ambient mode. And in ambient mode, it gives you, of course, the time, uh, enough information for you to know what you need to know so far as what time of day it is and the weather, which is pretty cool. Now, you can also customize this watch face also. And you can customize the weather, the time. You can customize the design. You can also customize how it looks in ambient mode. Uh, in active mode, you can change if you like. Also, you can customize uh, the windscreen, which I thought was pretty cool, uh, whether it's kilometers or miles. This is a pretty tight watch face. I like the customization of it and I like the way it looks. Now you can't change the color. For one, remember this is a sundial watch. So leave me a link in the description. Let me know what you thought about this particular watch face. And I will leave a link in the description where you can find these watch faces at in the Google Play Store. Okay, here's the next heavy hitter, guys. This one is called Minimus. Now, Minimus is pretty nice. I love this watch. It's very modern, very unique as well. I'm telling you, the developers are getting down on these watch faces. This one here, if you take a look at the second hand, it's bringing the second break right behind it. You can customize the color of that one. Again, this is an interactive watch face. Now, if you hit the date at the bottom, if you have any calendar settings or anything up under your calendar, it's going to give you information right there. You tap it again, it brings you home. You tap the weather at the top, which is inactive, it gives you the weather. Pretty nice, right? Tap it again, it brings you back home. Now, you have where it has information on your steps, but that one is not interactive, nor is the battery level for your phone and your watch. But you do have a menu here, and you can customize these menu dials however you like. And if so, you can just tap on it. This is the heart rate monitor which gives you information, well steps, gives you information on your steps, of course your heart rate as well. I thought that was pretty cool. So customize on. This one is called Minimus. So let's take a look and see what this one looks like in ambient mode. Now this got a classy yet elegant look in ambient mode which is pretty nice. Now you can also customize this more. This is the premium version that I have so in order to get the best out of this of course you would have to pay for the for the premium version. But this is definitely a very nice looking watch face. Okay guys last but not least. Now this watch face is called Qualys. Give this one a chance. I know it may not look like anything, but this watch is fully customizable and it's also an interactive watch face. Of course, you get an analog watch face along with the day and the date. Up top, you have the weather. Down at the bottom, you have your steps, which those dials can be customized. So, if I tap on that, of course, it brings me the steps. It brings me information on my heart rate. Of course, you can go into your Google Fit information. And if I tap on the weather, it takes me to weather. Now, if I tap directly on the middle, I got some more information and dials that I can go into. Now, I can change that bottom dial. I can change that top dial if I want to. And I can change it. But they have other settings like if I change, if I wanted to change the speaker on the Huawei watch, you can change the speaker. You have other information like if I want to go to the internet, what it does is it takes you to Google Now, which is pretty cool. 
let's go back into it and that is the alarm clock if you want to set the alarm clock just tap on that and set the alarm to whatever you want to set it to this is pretty nice now you can continue to customize this uh, as much as you like now you go into the app you can change the color of this watch face which is beautiful you can also change the inactive dials on here if you like not only right here but you can also change the ones that are on the inside of this right here so customize it and you can also change ambient mode you can change how this look got a couple of dials that you can change it to that looks really really great and of course it has general settings like for your weather and your um, font size and things of that nature this is a beautiful watch now this how it looks in ambient mode which to me looks pretty good so let's say i want to change that and put this watch face on there you go now that's nice now this here is like an elegant looking watch face or you can just change it back but this is definitely definitely a heavy hitter so i'm going to leave a link in the description of all the watch faces that i've done um and you can go ahead and check them out in the google play store i hope you really enjoyed this video hit the like button if you did and even if you didn't like it hit the like button anyway and if you want to see more videos like this, then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you guys at the next video. Take care.